Are you trying to decide if you need a degree? If you should go back to school and get a degree if you don't have one? Or do you need a degree to be successful? Having worked many years in HR, I've gotten this question hundreds of times. People will always ask if they need a degree, what degree should they get, and can they be successful in their careers if they don't get a degree? The short answer is of course you can be successful without a degree. Now, for full disclosure, there are a lot of companies that place a very high value on having a college degree. And as a result, there are a lot of jobs out there that require that you have a degree to get that job. Now, having spent my career writing job descriptions and pricing those jobs, I can tell you when people say a job requires a degree, what they're really saying is it's the preference of the hiring manager to have a degree. With that in mind, there's always a chance that you can obtain a job whether you have a degree or not. The primary factor that would have you circumvent the degree requirement would be how well your skill set and experience fits into the job that you're applying for. Now, as with any job, whether you have a degree or not, overall success is determined by the work you produce. If you're a high performer, then you will reach all kinds of levels of success. Conversely, if you're not a high performer, then you'll struggle for success, whether you have a degree or not. I can tell you the degree requirement is subjective most of the time. Unless there is an industry standard in place that says, hey, everybody who has this job has a degree. Accounting jobs, for instance, will legitimately require a degree in accounting because that is a specialized field of study that that job must have in order to practice. This could be the same with high-level jobs like a lawyer or a doctor, anything of that nature, a nurse. Analyst jobs that call for a degree in business administration or related fields of study indicate a more subjective requirement. It is these jobs that you can aim your sights at regardless of your degree status. Any job that calls for a degree with the related field of study qualifier on it means they're not really looking for a specialized degree. Rather, they're just looking for any kind of degree or equivalent experience often. It's been my experience that most often leaders see the degree not so much as an indicator of intelligence or qualification, but rather an individual's ability to complete the degree program, to manage their time, and to make it through the experience of college on their own. It boils down more to life experience in a complex environment than the degree itself and the education you get from it. Because the degree requirement is frequently a subjective opinion, you will notice that many job applications will accept experience or certifications in lieu of degree. This is essentially an acknowledgement that the degree is not the be all end all for that particular job. With all that said, I will be honest and say getting a degree can be a major asset in terms of employment and earning potential. In a recent study, it was found that bachelor's degree holders earned approximately $32,000 more than those with a high school diploma. It is estimated that those without a degree earn only 62% of what those with a degree would earn. So there is little doubt that a college education and obtaining a degree will give you a leg up in the corporate world. However, that is not an indicator that those without a degree are going to be unable to be successful. It may just mean that you have to work harder and separate yourself from the pack based on experience, certifications, and productivity. We need only look at some of the most successful people to see that having no degree can be overcome. We can see people like Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group, David Karp, the creator of Tumblr, 
and David Murdoch, the CEO of Dole Foods, all dropped out of high school. So if you have the chance to get your degree, then you should definitely take advantage of the opportunity. However, if you are in a position where you can't get a degree, then don't let that get in your way. At the end of the day, and I tell this to everyone who I help, the largest factor in your success is your work ethic. Almost all jobs have a set of requirements that you have to get in order to get that job. But a lot of times those requirements can be overcome by additional experience, by certifications, or by other qualifications that would benefit the company that you're applying for. So at the end of the day, can you be successful without a degree? Of course you can. A degree may determine if you can get a job or if you can't. But what can determine if you're going to be successful or not has nothing to do with the degree. It has everything to do with you, your work ethic, how you approach work, and how driven you are. A driven person doesn't need a degree to be successful. They just need an opportunity. So if you have a degree, awesome. If you have a chance to go and get a degree, whether that's through a scholarship or your parents are able to pay for it or you've gotten tuition reimbursement from your current place of employment, then I think that you should absolutely go and get that degree. But if you're in a spot where you cannot get a degree, maybe family, maybe life, things have gotten in the way and have cut off the opportunities and the possibilities for you to really go out and get that degree that you think you deserve or that you want. If you're in a spot where maybe family, life, just different circumstances have gotten in the way and now you find yourself at a spot where you really don't have the time or the money to go back and to get that college degree, focus on your work. Do not let a college degree or lack thereof be the thing that trips you up yes it's nice to have yes it can give you a good head start early in your career but it is not necessary to be a successful person go out there work hard do your best and success will come if you like videos like this and you'd like to see more of this kind of content Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified of any upcoming videos. And we'll see you guys next time.